Hello, and welcome to the Electra training video series. This video will cover how to create a report in Electra. If you're following along from the saving and recalling results video, I'm going to continue from where we left off. At this point, we want to create a report and ultimately save it locally on our PC. Within Electra, a report and a report template are two different things. A report template is a pre-configured report format that is automatically populated at the end of a test. If it has been selected during the test template creation, as we did during this video series, then Electra will use that template. As you can see on the screen here, Electra generated the report based on the template we selected. For more information on report templates, please refer to the dedicated video on report templates. For the sake of training exercise though, we'll show you how to create a new report without using an existing template. To begin, use this button at the top of the screen to add a new report. This brings up a screen where you can configure the test report. The first couple things to note is that you can select what is displayed in the header and the footer by using these drop-down displays. Then, shift your attention to the Available Components window. Here, any item can be added to the test report using the plus sign to the right of each item. Simply click the plus sign, and you will see it populate into the Selected Components window. Each item selected will have different component options as you can see here. For example, begin on a new page. Once you have multiple items selected, you can also rearrange the items by dragging and dropping. For some items, you can select Show Details and include more information or graphics. Under Graphics, you can select how many graphics you want to appear from left to right on one single line. Here we'll show an example of the same graphic displayed four times with four columns. You could of course have four different graphs with four columns and this would work in the same way. One last important thing to note is that you must use the next page button shown here to navigate to the next page. You cannot use a mouse scroll wheel to get to page two, page three, and so on. Another important thing to know is that you can export to PDF or a Word document using this icon. This can be set in the report settings area of Electra, or you can select the reformat after you click export as you can see here. PDF is the default, and we're going to export a report in that format for the purpose of this video. Last but not least, give an appropriate name for your report and save it to your PC. If you want to attach that report to the test in Electra, click the paperclip icon to attach it. Once it appears in the test components window, you can double click on the report to view it. This concludes the training video on creating a report in Electra. Thanks for watching.